Guess what, people? It's finally time. Time for what? It's time to build. Yes, baby, I am thrilled. I've been waiting so long for this moment. This is my first build. I've done so many things, so many component swaps. I've done some upgrades here on camera, here at the headquarters. But first and foremost, this is my first machine that I'm gonna build from start to finish. Now, let's talk about the case. This case, kinda small, but it's gonna be mighty. We're gonna fit all of this inside this case. This is the John's Bow V11 Mini ITX case. Now let's talk about some components. What mama board are we putting in here? We're putting the Aorus B650i Ultra. There's DDR5 compatible AM5 socket on this machine. And speaking of AM5s, we are putting the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X CPU on this mama board. And we're gonna keep it cool with this Thermotake CPU cooler with some sweet RGB on it, as well as we got DDR5 RAM from Corsair. Boom, check this out. This is a Corsair Vengeance DDR5, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and one Terry of Samsung 970 Evo Plus storage. Some M.2 for me and you. Now, it's, I mean, it could be for us if we play together, but anyway, we got the Sapphire AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU. Should be a great pair to go with that uh, 7900X CPU, right? As far as power, we've got the Cooler Master V850, smaller form factor, fully modular PSU right here. So this is gonna be a small but mighty powerful machine. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this moment for so long and just waiting to get my hands dirty. Well, everything's new, so they're not gonna be dirty. Let's get my hands clean as we build this machine. All right, people, first things first. We got this AMD Ryzen 9 7900X and it needs to get on this mama board. So let's do it. So we're gonna remove this part just like so. Um, this is a plastic piece that we don't need. It literally says, remove. Now, AM5. Yes, baby, we got the AM5, new and improved. I need dip for my chip. All right, so let's put this in. Woo, this is kind of heavy duty. Make sure that that's lined up like so. Gonna close that and we gonna lock it down. Woo, all right. CPU is on this mama board. So now we just remove the heat sink to give us a little bit of extra working space inside the mama board. Put the M.2 on. And then we're gonna put the RAM and then we'll finish things off with the CPU cooler. One Terry. Uh, let's see if I can put this here. Woo. So we got our one Terry of M.2 SSD on the machine. Now we're gonna move on over to some RAM. Got RAM, I got some fins. I got some Corsair Vengeance fins. This is DDR5 Corsair Vengeance. I wanna make sure we uh remove all the plastics before we put it in the mama board. Pill moment. All right, that feels about in there. Woo. Really gotta click it in there. The RAM is nice and secure. To the CPU cooler from Thermaltake. Got some trusty thermal paste. We gotta get this right. I'm gonna apply the thermal paste now. So, let's get it. Alrighty, M-O-T. It is on. Yee! All right, it is totally in there, but we gotta reassemble our heat sink right here. Let's see. Let's make sure everything lines up properly. All right, one more peel moment for the masses. Oh, yeah. All righty. Let's see if we can reassemble. Let's see if everything lines up properly. I'm down to screw it, just not screw it up. I'm flexing this tech. This is a tech flex 
major tech flex. I'm just gonna keep saying it through the rest of this video. Just make up for lost time. All right, everything is assembled on the mama board. We got the CPU, we got the thermal paste, we got the CPU cooler. We got two spins of RAM and we got our M.2 in there. We got some connectivity added. We have this plugged in. And so we should be good to add it to the case. Let's do it. John's bow, V11. We have some connectivity. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna take out the HDD tray and we won't be needing that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. All right. Looks like it comes out easy as such. So we're getting the motherboard inside of this V11 case. It's a tight fit to say the least, but many ITX computers, sometimes they're difficult to just, you gotta really think about how you're gonna assemble it. Everything seems to be lining up. I just wanna make sure that I have all of my connectivity properly wired. Now, the mama board isn't secure yet, but we gotta make sure that the connectivity has the proper space before we lock everything down. Woo! All right. Good, okay, so we got some things plugged in. I think we should lock the mama board onto the actual case. That's what we should do right now. Boom. Woo! There we go. So the mama board is on the frame of the case, the open frame. Now I think we should move on to that GPU. All right, now we have the mama board inside the frame, which we had to loosen the frame in order to get everything nice, tight, and snug, and then we just tighten everything back up. So we got everything connected to the motherboard so far. Now there's only two more components that we gotta add to this machine, and that's the GPU and the PSU. So we're gonna take off the back here. All righty, we're gonna get this riser cable installed just under where the CPU needs to suspend. Taking this off. Woo. Nice and snug. So, I would be the one who chooses an ITX as my first build. You know why? Because I'm up for the challenge, you guys. You can't flex the tech if it's not challenging. All right, cool. So the riser cable is in the motherboard and it has been screwed to the frame. And now, we are going to put in RX 7900 XTX. Good. Alrighty. GPU is in, and now we gotta plug it in. How I plug these in is important. There we go. Let's try that again. You know, I'm thinking as I as I do this, because that's what you gotta do. You just gotta think sometimes. Because it's not rocket science, it's computer science. It's in there, whoo! All right, and this is some cable management for now, but the last item of the day, SFX V850 Cooler Master PSU. Tiny, tiny, I mean, it's so cute, so cool. It's fully modular. So this is gonna be on the inside. I'm gonna plug this on our motherboard. All right. We are getting closer, y'all. And I am getting even more excited than I was before we even opened up any of these boxes. All right, let's see. All right, so as you can see, cables, 
everywhere. Everything. I'm gonna dump this cable issue, which is. We're gonna reposition. Come on, Jimmy. Woo! It's alive! Let me not say that too soon. I love it. Nothing's even happening yet, and I'm in love. But is that PC building? You just tinker some things, do some screws, and like you're. It's the small cannon. Mini ITX. Actually, it is pretty simple. Bye bye, computer. And that's the PC if I've ever seen one. Very small. Small cannon. Looks good. Check it out this way. Got your PSU CPU cooler. All right, we're here. Moment of truth. All of this work on this TechFlex journey, now it's time to figure out where the destination stands. Is it here, where we're at in this present moment, or is it at a future moment after re-tinkering? But we're gonna find out right now. So check it out. All right, let's see. Are you gonna find the monitor? It's happening! Yes! <laughs> Boom! Right there. First build is complete. That's it. That's the Tech Flex. This is a Tech Flex. Never done this before. Did it today. Boom! With this John's Bow case, this mini ITX AMD build posted at the headquarters. That's how we do it. Yes. Job well done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Mini ITX, AMD, post it. What more do I need to say? It's a text flex, y'all. That's what we do it over here. Check it out.